Hey everybody, it's KJ here, and I just want to do a different video for today. Um, so as you can tell by the title down below, uh, I'm going to do an E3 video about Nintendo. So I'm be rambling on. I, I this is just my maybe I don't, I don't think it's predictions. I think I'm gonna call it just a risk list. But I'm very optimistic for a Nintendo guy like myself, so I can go all the way up to the stars, and that can be easy be hammered down once they do something. Once Nintendo's like, nah, that's not gonna happen. So I just want to talk for a bit. I wish I wanted to watch this, but I turns out I can't anymore. Don't know why. They said I don't got enough subscribers for that. I don't have a thousand subscribers, which oh okay, but still that's kind of unnecessary just to do at this point. <sighs> that's YouTube for you, but anyways. <clears throat> I'm gonna have like a lot of predictions or wish which is I hope come true in the future. I don't know. So if I'm gonna start with anything, I wanna start with the stuff that's already been confirmed. So we got Lisa Wakeney and I honestly can't wait to play the game. Like I haven't played the Game Boy, but I heard so many good things about it and since while I'm not a huge Zelda fan, uh I really want to try out Link's Awakening. I really want to do. I was so excited when it got announced earlier this year in Nintendo Direct. But if anything, I don't think they will talk that much about it. I don't know. Like, I mean, I think they will talk about it, but they probably just be like, "Well, there's stuff here and there." That's me. Animal Crossing. While I am interested to play this one, since I never played Animal Crossing before. Well, I did at one point, but that was on a friend's 3ds. Uh, I think they will get some information here, but I'm not too big about it. Well, I'm not too excited for Animal Crossing. So, that's one thing. But, oh, okay, Sp speaking of, like, Nintendo, Spongebob Battle of Bikini Bottom Rehydrate is announced. Oh my god, I can't wait. Like, Spon I grew up on Spongebob. Like, that was a huge inspiration for my show for years, like, for two years now, but... I grew up with Spongebob, and I used to go to my uh, neighbor's house. We used to play the Battle of King Bottom and the movie game on, you know, on the, on the GameCube, on his GameCube. Well, I played the movie game the most, but I always wanted to try out Battle of King Bottom. And, I, and again, I heard so many good things about it, and, and you know, I had so much nostalgia with it, so I really can't wait. And it's on the single Switch, so I might as well get it. On the switch, since I'm a huge collector thon type of guy, so I'm gonna. I can't wait for this game. It, it, it's perfect timing since this year is SpongeBob's 20th anniversary. So the so the fact they are remastering a old um, game that's really good, like like Battle of King Bottom is one of the best licensed games of all time. Like, is that good? So I can't wait. To play on the Switch, I'm gonna go. I'm a, I'm probably just re-download it, so that's one thing. But I, I want to see what they do. The the best part about Rehydrated was that they gonna b bring back the cut content, like the Squidward boss. I'm like, I can't wait to see that where the muscles are. I, I honestly can't wait for Rehydrated. I think that's the only game I'm excited for so far. That's not Nintendo, but it. But that was me when when that they announced that on the same day, Pokemon Sun and Moon. At that moment, I forgot something we had to read that day, so. <laughs> That's just me. Or then again, I'm not that big of a Pokemon fan either. So. That's it. Um, Luigi's Mansion 3. Now, I'm excited for that. Like, I was. I grew up on the first game on the GameCube. And I didn't play Dark Moon, but I heard so many good things about it, but it's not as good as the first one. Me personally, I hope that. If they're going to do with the story. I don't want to be rescuing Mario. I want to be rescuing Daisy. It it makes sense. It's time for an adventure where Luigi saves Daisy for a change. You know? Heck, this game... this <clears throat> 2019 is the 30th anniversary of Super Mario Land. Daisy's debut game. So, it might as well just do that. So, that's one thing. What else? What else? What else? Fire Emblem. I don't really care about Fire Emblem. So, that's one thing. Um, Smash Bros. Okay, let's talk about Smash Bros. This is what I honestly don't like when people do is when they say, "Oh, I don't want him in Smash," stuff like that. I'm like, let him 
let people who want him to smash be happy. Just let them think about it. Like, Eldrick from Dragon Crest, I heard so many people hating him. And they want Sora and Me, personally, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Eldrick got a much better chance, higher chance than Sora. Now, not by a long shot, but it's like here. But that's because he got no Disney references. Sora does, but that's just me being ignorant since I'm not a Kingdom Hearts fan. But I'll be excited if Sora does get into, inside, get into Smash Bros. But that's just me personally. I wouldn't mind if Eldrick gets in or Sora. I don't really care. But I don't like when people just want to hate on the other character so they can love this other character as well. Uh, Banjo Kazooie. And, it's like Banjo Kazooie and uh, Steve from Minecraft. Me personally, while I do want Banjo more than Steve, <clears throat> that does not mean if. Steve gets in, I don't even hate him for that. I'm not. I'd be disappointed, but I'm still going to appreciate that he got into Smash. And he's more relevant than, than Banjo these days. Yes, Banjo has a big fan base now, but he hasn't seen a game since Nuts and Bolts, which is like a decade old, I believe. While Minecraft is very a like, popular game, so Steve got a higher chance because of that. So that's just me. <clears throat> but enough about Smash Bros., Let's talk about games that, usually this is a Mario position list, but uh, so that's the biggest one. But maybe I'll go here and there. The other day, I was playing Kirby Star Allies, and I feel like we could get another Kirby game announced. That's my first crazy idea. And the reason I feel like that is because Star Allies was announced a year and just a, like exactly, just a little over a year after they announced after uh, Planet Robobot came out. <laughs> Even Planet Robobot, they announced the game at the Red, and it comes out like two to three months later. So, I'm like, they can easily just do this with Kirby. But honestly, I don't know. I don't know what they would do with Kirby at this point. Well, I do know, but, well, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. I think Kirby's going to get a new game at some, time, at some point, but maybe next year. You know, but, um, that's Kirby. Oh, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Let's see. Okay, let's talk about um, Mario. Okay, so I got. It. <laughs> this is just now pretty much KJ's. This is just my. Just call this KJ's wackiest ideals that will never come true. Maybe, but uh, Mario. I honestly think. Let's talk about mainstream games. So, Super Mario Odyssey, right here. Is a very popular game. And that is true. It's very popular. If you want a sequel to it. Honestly. This is because of my nostalgia. I want Super Mario Galaxy 3. More of a Super Mario RC2, RC2 at this point. And I'm not trying to say. Like, I will hate if RC2 gets announced. I'll be like, ecstatic. I'll be like yes. But. I think it would be a nice way to pattern the games out. If you guys remember, when Odyssey was announced, they said that there's a linear and a nonlinear Mario series, and this is the linear and nonlinear. You got Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2, 3D Land, 3D World, and you got the nonlinear or open world game. You got 64, Sunshine, and now Odyssey. So I think it would be smart of them is that they continue with this one as like do a pattern between each two games so you know, oh, we're going to get an open world next time or we're going to get a linear. So me personally, we might get Super Mario Galaxy 3. Now I'm not saying that it is gonna happen. Galaxy 3 is a game. Sorry, there's a notification. Galaxy 3, we haven't seen a game. <clears throat> we haven't seen like we haven't seen <clears throat> I am trying to get my words out. We haven't seen a Galaxy game since Galaxy 2 since 2010. Oh my gosh, I feel old saying that. <laughs> but uh But honestly, I can I honestly do want Galaxy 3 at this point. If you guys, if Nintendo was smart, so let's do a pattern. We did Super Mario Odyssey, let's go make a Galaxy 3. People have been asking that for years, so might as well. I mean, you don't want to be on the same train like Sonic Adventure 3, so you want, <laughs> you just want to do a Galaxy 3. Like, but I wouldn't be mad if they do Super Mario Odyssey 2 instead. I, I wouldn't mind that, but I think, I think people will be so excited that if you announce Galaxy 3, especially after what Archie did, I honestly want a new 3 linear Mario 
card game by Galaxy. So Galaxy 3, I honestly would be so happy my inner childhood would come back to life. Man, or if, if not Galaxy 3, Remastered 1 and 2 for HD, I would love to see that. But that's Mario Odyssey. Well, not Mario Odyssey. That's my plans for a mainstream game. But if anything else, Odyssey 2, Odyssey 2. Odyssey 2, I'll be happy about that, but I just want them to do a Galaxy game. That's just me personally. I wouldn't be mad if they say, no, we're not doing Galaxy. I just be like, okay, I go with that. Let's go to the crazy idea. I don't know, I don't know why, but I got a feeling about a few games that might get announced that are sequels or something. I have this urge that they might announce. Mario, uh, a new baseball Mario game. I don't know why, but I just feel like they've gone and gone at this point. I just don't know why I got that feeling. But it's probably because Mario Tennis was so, and Mario Tennis Aces was so, so well, and they still promoted that game. And it's like, okay, let's get, let's resurrect that. No, uh, what the heck? Another sports Mario game, Mario Baseball. And you guys see my Mario Ultra Ball game. That's my idea. My, that's the concept what I have. But I just want to see another baseball Mario game. Like, I honestly want that. And, and since, Mar since Mario honestly has, like, a baseball outfit, I'm like, there you go. But I don't know why. There's, like, a lot of urges for spin-off Mario games like that. Excuse me. But one thing. That's one thing. But well, let's get off Mario for a second. Uh, I saw uh, Chocos X. Twitter page, and he said we need to get like home screen themes, like a Mario theme for a home screen on the Switch. I'm like, okay, that's cool. That'd be cool to announce that at E3, but let's get off of that. This one. Another thing is Mario Strikers. I would love if they announced a Mario Strikers. I know my ideals are like, that will never happen at this point, but I would love to see next level games develop Mario Strikers and like a new Mario Strikers game, but it probably won't because they're working on Luigi's Mansion 3, I presume. So, I honestly don't know. Like, I just don't know at this point. So, if we get, like, <laughs> I honestly want to play another intense soccer game with Mario and his friends, like Mario Strikers. Charge was so good, I think they can make it even more edgier. With the, with the Switch. I honestly think people will buy it. I don't know. That's Strikers. Let's get to... Let's, let's talk about something I've been passionate about since 2015. A new Paper Mario game. And that is way out there. But, um... And the, the reason I got this feeling is because I feel like we are... Damon Swain just posted their own prediction video, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I feel like we're gonna get another Paper Mario game. It's just something. Because Paper Mario games come out, well, they either announce and then they come out between three to four years. Paper Mario 1, for, for America at least, came out in 2000. The Thousand Door came out in 2004. Super Paper Mario came out in 2007. Then the longest wait was, uh, for America wise, between Super Paper Mario and Sticker Star, I hate Sticker Star, which came out in 2012. Then you got four years later, we got Color Splash, which was pretty much we used last game that people didn't really care at that point. <laughs> but I honestly think we might get a Paper Mario game announced for the Switch. Not this year, but I got a feeling that we might get a new one. But this one. But the reason why. But I have a reason that's going to be right back to the, to the series roots. The reason why I say that is because of Koizumi. That dude loves story. I mean, he wanted to be a filmmaker. He got into Nintendo. He put a lot of story into it. He he made Link's Awakening. Not made it, but he helped on Link's Awakening. But I feel like he knows. Like, because when Color Splash came out, there's some hints of what them trying to shoehorn story into it. So I feel like they heard what people were talking about. Uh, color splash with the uh, with the criticism back back then. So maybe for the next game for Paper Mario Switch, they was like, okay, 
we got to go all out with the story. So I feel like that's going to happen with with them on this. And it's it's very unlikely because people more close Spice did not sell well, but I can easily tie that with two things. One, it did not what people wanted. It, it's not what people wanted. Y'all heard that, that people did not like Secret Star, so why continue on? Two, is that it was on the Wii U when it was dying. Like, it's, they announced the Switch, and then this game come, came out, like, around the same time when they announced the Switch. The Wii U was already dying at that point. So, that's the big, big two reasons right there. But if you do something that's a spiritual successor to this Thousand Door, go out all out with the story, which reminds me of Paper Mario The Rewind Chronicles by uh, Renzo X. If you do something like that, that is going to be a bestseller. Like, that's going to be one of your bestselling RPGs. I, I'm just saying that right now, especially with the internet, people are going to be playing Paper Mario, especially me. So, Mario and Luigi, that can, get, that can get a new game as well, but they really need something that's like bring fans back. Because lately, starting with Dream Team, I didn't hate Dream Team or People Jam. I didn't hate any of the recent Mario and Luigi games. It's just more like, Bowser inside the side story was like the top, and then all of a sudden you go back here. That's what it feels like to me. You're remaking two games, and I'm like, why not put that strength into a new game on the Switch? I mean, I don't know why they're still supporting 3DS. That game, I'm not trying to say kill it off, but I'm saying that thing is dying, though. Like, Bowser inside the side story, the remake on it did not sell well. It's one of the worst Mario selling, one of the worst selling Mario games out there. Same thing with Kirby's Epic, Extra Epic Yarn. That's stupid. Why put it on the 3DS? Put it on the Switch. So, that's just me. But, um... What else? Um... No, nothing Star Tropics related. But I'll be... Bust my butt off if Mike Jones gets something else for that. But me, personally, I just want to see... A new Paper Mario game for the Switch. But I'll be crazy if they announce it this year. That's... I'm going to be excited for it. If it's like the old make Paper Mario games. But if anything, remat I want to see a remaster of Paper Mario 1 specifically because that game can look really good with Thousand Door graphics. So uh, that's just me. Dang. <laughs> what else? What else? Star Fox? Okay, Star Fox, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going off the chart. Metroid, okay, here's the thing. Metroid, I want to see a Metroid Prime Trilogy. That's what I want to see. They hide people up for Prime 4. I think they should do that. Mother 3, that would be crazy if they announced that. I, it, I got, I, I, I'm I just thinking, thinking about flying right off my head. So, if they, if Reggie's like, okay, before I retire, remaster Mother 3, or give to something Mother related, I think people go crazy about if that happens. Oh boy, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, and that's just my E3 wish list. Bye.